G'day! Hamish Grimm's the name, and Drunk Drunk in Space is the game. It's like one in the morning, and I have had a fucking shitload of vodka because I've been binge watching Ruby like a fucking weeb. And I kind of forgot that I was supposed to be recording an episode, so here we are! Let's see if alcohol can enter space. Now, the thing about escaping Earth's atmosphere, why won't you spin? Oh, I need a fucking cockpit. The thing about Earth's atmosphere is you have to break it. And the best way to break an atmosphere is with phallic objects. It's not rocket science, people. And just like that, you've got yourself a nice penis looking rocket. That way you can thrust your way out of the atmosphere, but it needs a name. <laughs> Alright, Jebediah, are you ready? I'm fucking ready. Throttle her up, and watch her go! Fuck me! What is this? The science is there, lads! I'm gonna be fucking honest with you guys, I'm absolutely and utterly shocked that this is working. Why have the engines stopped? Jeb! Why did you turn off the engines? What? What, what are you doing? What is this? Huh? Why are we in docking mode? What? Oh, that's not good! Jeb, Jeb, you... T Jeb, t turn the engines on. Turn the engines on, Jeb. Jeb! Jeb! Oh lordy. Alright. This is fine. This is this is fine. Only one of these had oxidizer in it. Alright, Jeb. We're gonna get you out of here, buddy. We're gonna get you out of here. You're still flying the ship. We just gotta use that aerodynamicity. So while designing this, I may have miscalculated a couple of small things. Um, landing gear, parachutes, the oxidizer was probably important as well. But that's why we do these things, don't we? It's a test. Now Jeb, if you've ever seen those things where the elevator shaft, you're gonna jump out right at the last second. Ooh. Maybe, maybe too soon. I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling awfully fucking cocky about this one. <laughs> That's the stuff. Alright, Bill. Unfortunately, Jebediah met with a grim fate. Get it? Grim fate. Anyway. I have faith in you, Bill! You can do it! Now, Bill, you appear to be breaking the sound barrier. Except you probably can't hear me telling you this, because it means that you're going faster than I can talk. Why are you tipping? Bill. Bill, space is the other way, Bill. For God's sake, man! Point it up! That's a good cut. There you go. No, 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 no. Oh, I see. The landing gear's down. Let's just put them back up there. This is... This is fine, Bill. This is fine. Now, what we need to do is decouple. And shoot the rocket. Now, just... Tilt your nose up the right way, Bill. And we can into space! This is going surprisingly well! Don't worry, Bill. We'll get you back home. Back onto the sun. Because that's what this is all about, I think. I have absolutely no idea why we're doing this. Look at that! Well done, Bill! 
Ah, oh, people will be talking about you for years to come, not like that Jebediah fellow. Oh no, he didn't even know how to fly straight up. What a fool he was. Excellent, 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 excellent. Now we just have to do that a hundred time fold and we might be able to make it to the moon. Hey Bill, I think I can see your house from up here. See if you can go see it. Whatever you do, do not let go of the thing. Um, I, I do not have the resources to come and get you if you get lost in space, mate. Look at that. Look at that. That is the face of a happy man. A man who has made it into space and might even make it back. Bravo, Bill. Bravo. Alright, now, Bill, it's very important that you remember proper re-entry techniques. First of all, you have no engine power, alright? It's, it's, it's fucked. Your engines are fucked, mate. So you can't use them to slow down. That's what the parachutes are for. But before you activate the parachutes, you have to make sure that you come in nose first. That's the only way, alright? There's going to be a fair few G-forces once the parachute pull, however, because it's going to sp pull the ship in a 180 degree angle so you can land on your landing gear. So try not to vomit up your own heart. I gave you one specific task, mate. To come in nose first. This isn't nose first, Bill. This is everything but nose first. Remember your fucking training. 3,000, 2,000, I need you to pull the chute. 2,000, pull the chute. What happened to the parachutes? What happened to the parachutes, Bill? The parachutes! They deployed a little late. There we go. Cock it wings. Cock it wings. Cock it three. Now with more wings and parachutes. Alright, Bob, I didn't want to say this in front of Bill, but you've always been my favorite. So I'm gonna have to ask you to... Please don't die. So far, so good, Bob. You're about to break the sound barrier, so I'm not gonna be able to talk to you soon enough. This is the part where Bill fucked up and decided to start doing barrel rolls. Do not, under any circumstances, perform barrel rolls, alright? You just gotta keep it going straight up, and you'll be fine. I, 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 I have no idea how to deal with this. He's actually just caught fire. Not in like the sense that he's doing well, the sense that he's actually just caught fucking fire. Tone it back a bit, Bob. You're making us all look bad. Stage one's out of fuel. Disengage. Oh, God, look at that separation. Oh, I just popped a stiffy. Now, engage rockets. Disengage landing gear, Bob. Good God, man. That was fucking slick. Holy shit. I almost feel like a rocket scientist. I mean, I'm a rocket scientist. Trust me, Bob, I know exactly what I'm doing. I've done this many times before. Twice, in fact. Fuck me, Bob. You're really in a hurry to get out of here, aren't you? You've already done three times as good as Bill. Fuck, mate. Fuck, you calm it down ten times? Fuck! And he's gone. He, you did it? You mad cunt! I salute you, Bob Kerman, the first man to escape our planet. Unfortunately, it looks like we've run out of fuel. But I do bid you farewell, young Bob. I hope that somewhere out there you find plenty of blue space pussy. I do hope those alien girls have puss puss. Dear God, have mercy on your soul, Bob. 
Now, uh, from from the fucking comfy seat we've got here at the space station, we can actually see how he's doing. Ain't that neat? It looks to me like he might be nearly setting himself up to go and try and land on Eve. I mean, like, if Eve is anything like she is in the Bible, mate, you might be able to get a little something-something. Uh, so if you liked it, let me know by liking. If you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. And if you want me to do more drunk videos like this one, make sure to send me a bottle of vodka in the mail. None of the cheap shit either. I can tell the difference. Have a great day.